Okay, so we're given a coordinate, point A, and I just drew a sketch. It would be located at 6, 5 on a graph, and we're given the equation of a line. So if you were to graph this, this is what it would look like. We start at positive 3, that's the y-intercept, and it rises by 2 over 1, right? Okay, so I just, do a quick, I just drew a quick sketch of the graph. We're trying to find the shortest, the shortest distance from point A to the blue line, okay? So like I just told you, if I want to calculate the distance from point A to the y-intercept, we can know how to do that using the um, length of a line segment formula, right? But that's not the shortest distance. Even if you look at it, you can see that would not be the shortest distance. If I were to extend this line, I said, oh, let me calculate the distance from this point. I could graph it and extend the points to here. Again, that's not the shortest distance, right? So the shortest distance is always where the two lines intersect if you draw a perpendicular line. So let's just sketch this. If I figure out the formula of line A, sorry, the equation, sorry, the equation of the line A, and I figure out where these two lines intersect, I can figure out a point, right? I can figure out an x, y point, and then I can use the length of the line segment to calculate the shortest distance from, let's call this point, what do you want to call it, C to point A. Once I know this point, that length there is the shortest distance. Does that make sense, what you're trying to figure out? So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what is the equation of line, I'm going to call this line uh, R, it's a red line, okay? So we have to find the equation of line R. It has to run perpendicular to the blue line in order for us to find the shortest distance. So we need to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this line. What do you know about um, two lines that are perpendicular? What do you know about their slopes? Yep, they're negative reciprocals. So what's the slope of the blue line? Positive two over one. So the slope of the red line would have to be what? Okay, to find an equation of a line, we need to know the slope and we need to know the y-intercept. Do you know the, the y-intercept of the red line? No. Do you know a coordinate of the red line, an x and a y? So we're going to plug in x, we're going to plug in y, and we're going to plug in the slope, and we're going to find b, because you need the equation of that line. Okay, so do that. So we're trying to figure out b. I plugged in my y value, my x value, and my m. And we're going to simplify. 5 is equal to negative 6 over 2 plus b. What's negative 6 divided by 2? Negative 3. So what is b equal to? Good. So the equation of the red line is y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 8. So now I have the equation of the two lines. Remember what we were trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out the point of intersection because we know that's a point on the blue line. And then we can find the distance from that point to the point we were given. We were given point A. We're trying to calculate the, the distance between those two points, the length of that line segment. So we need to find, this goes back to uh, the last chapter, point of intersection. What are the three strategies you learn to find point of intersection? Graphing, elimination, substitution. So now I know that this point C is, what was it? Two seven? Two seven. I'm trying to find the distance between point C and point A. I now have two coordinates so I can use the length of a line segment formula to find the distance. Okay, so do you want to use substitution or elimination? I'm going to use substitution because y is isolated. y is equal to 2x plus 3, so I can just replace that here, and I can say 2x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 8, and then I'm just isolating x. So we have to combine our like terms. I want to combine my variable terms. The negative 1 over 2x becomes positive, right? And I have my positive 8 already on the right side of the equation. That stays. Positive 3 opposite operation becomes minus 3. 
So I have to add these fractions together. 2 over 1x plus 1 over 2x. If I want to get rid of this fraction, what's the opposite of divide by 2? If I multiply this by 2, oh. right? So I have to multiply this by 2. And I have to multiply everything on the right side by 2. Okay? Don't forget, if you multiply one term by 2, you have to multiply everything by 2. So I'm left with 4x plus 1x equals, well, I should have simplified this. What's 8 take away 3? And I have to multiply that by 2 as well, right? If I'm multiplying one term by 2, I have to multiply everything by 2. I'm just getting rid of the fraction right now. So what's 4x plus 1x is equal to, what's 5 times 2? So what's x equal to? Okay, so I'm trying to find the point of intersection. Right now I know it's located at 2 something. Which equation should I plug this value into? The first one, for sure, because there's no fractions. So y equals 2x plus 3 was the first equation. I'm going to replace x with 2. So y is equal to 4 plus 3. y is equal to 7. Point of intersection is 2, 7. I'm not done the question. Okay, so now you have your two coordinates, and we're finding the distance between those two. doesn't matter how we label this. I'm just going to call this x1, y1, and y... Oops, sorry. x2, y2. Okay, some of you are um, forgetting the rules of exponents. Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. So don't forget, 4 squared would be 16 plus. It's not take away. It's plus 4. What? Right? Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. So approximately, let's round it to the nearest 10. 4.5 units. So the shortest distance between that point and the line is approximately 4.5 units.